Hello everyone, this is Wanda again of Wanda Budgets and Cash Stuffing with my very first cash stuffing video. First of all, thanks for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And once you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post a video. Thank you so much. So let's get into the video. Today, I'm going to talk about the cash envelope system. Pretty easy when you're setting up your budget. And of course, everyone's budget is personal to them. So please keep that in mind as we go along in our budgeting journey. So with the cash envelope system, what you do is you allocate or you set up a certain amount of money every time that you get paid to go to different categories. And of course, you are going to be using a cash envelope or some type of cash envelope. Now, in the past, I have used just regular envelopes or laminated envelopes that I've made myself, <laughs> trying to be cheap. But basically, it's just an envelope or some type of mechanism, but an envelope. And you just put the category on the envelope and every time you get paid, like I stated before, you just place the amount that you designated that you want to go for a particular category. And since you're doing your budget, we're talking about specific categories, obviously your rent or your mortgage, food and gas. These are the things that, and utilities, things that need to be paid each and every month. So what the cash envelope system does is it helps you to stay on budget. Once you have filled the envelopes with the cash, great. Then you start utilizing the money, great. Once the money is gone though, that's it. You cannot add any more money to the envelope. That is how it's supposed to work. I'll just throw that in because sometimes we may borrow from one envelope to another, but the whole the point is not to do that so you can get disciplined enough to where you just spend the money that you need because you're probably going to be doing other things along the way to help you with your budget like coupon and thrifting things such as that but the whole premise behind the cash envelope system is you put you allocate the amount of money you want to go in the envelope and once that money is gone it is gone okay so that's that now for my cash stuffing today, I am going to be stuffing $291.19. Now the original amount was $315. So we're going to start with that. But here before you is $291.19. This is my cash envelope system. I was fortunate enough to be able to find this at a thrift store. Thank goodness. And here it is. It has six zippered envelopes so once again i told you it, it could be different some could be laminated some could just be paper like the regular envelope or nice floral stuff there are lots of uh, information online regarding cash envelopes and people that sell cash envelopes laminate paper whatever it is some a lot of youtubers have various etsy shops or what have you so if you're interested in cash envelopes that is a great place to start. Obviously, Google, Etsy, what have you. So, at the beginning of the month, and we're already at, we're already into the middle of the month. I had already placed money into my envelopes for food, gas, and personal, as the mortgage payment and other things are taken out of my main income, which is my retirement pay. But that is another video. So in these envelopes, the food, the gas, and the personal, they've been used a lot already because it's the 15th of the month. So there is some money in here and we're just going to put that on the thing today so we can you know, really start our cash envelope stuffing. Okay, so of the $315 that we started with, today I went to Aldi and I spent $23.81 at Aldi getting some food items. So that's why my bounce, what we have here is $291.19. So 
well, I guess the second thing that I'm going to do is pay myself since the first thing that I did was to purchase some food, which should not have happened. But nonetheless, <laughs> live and learn, I'm going to pay myself. So from $315, 20% of that is $63. So I'm just going to, okay. 315 times 0 0.20 equals 63. So I'm going to put $63 in the envelope. 20, 40, 60. 1, 2, 3. Now with this $63, I am going to invest it. So I'm going to put it into my deposits envelope. I'm going to make a note on my tracking slip. Today's date, 15 September 21, it's going to be a positive $63, and it's going into my Roth IRA. In another video, I'm going to discuss, I already have a certain amount going into my Roth IRA monthly. But now I'm going to start adding more to it and then I'll just place it back in here and zip it up and we'll move on to the next thing. So we, we started with $315 minus $23.81 left us with what we started with, $291.19 minus the $63 that I'm paying myself, we're left with $228.19. The next category, which is a sinking fund category, and I'll discuss that in just a moment, is going to be my car registration. My car registration is due in September next year. So now I'm going to start saving $17 monthly until August, I do believe, and then I will have the $187 that is needed to pay the car registration. 10, 15, 16, 17. A zipper envelope, take out my slip. Plus 17 here. it back in here, zip it up, and so we're going to subtract 17 from that amount. We have $211.19. The next thing I'm going to do is pay $100 to my visa. Have right here, so I'm gonna put that in the deposit. So when I go to the bank, I'll just make the payment to the bank directly. $100. And I'll just make another note. 15 September 21. payments and from the 21119 we subtract 100 we have $111.19 left and this is going into an emergency fund and I am going to place I am going to place uh, $111.19 in this unmarked one and I will at a later time make a label for this envelope category emergency fund $111.19 
today is day 15 September 21 and now all of my side income has been allocated for and that is basically what you do anytime that I purchase something for any of these categories I place the receipt in there so and daily if I do something daily with my funds or what have you I place the information in my black book a black ledger that has my budget and other information in it or what have you so I try to keep track of everything and then at the end of the month or as the month goes along I'll see well of course I can see where I'm at because I have my envelopes and I can just look at them and see how much money I have what have you so like I was saying with regards to the sinking fund now the sinking fund is a different thing and a sinking fund is for those expenses that um, you don't have every month but you want to save up for it over time like I was talking with regards to my car registration is due in September I want to save up to to August and have the $187 ready and when the bill comes due I have that money so that I don't have to take money from my retirement pay or any side hustle income that I have hopefully that makes sense so over a period of time you're just saving up each month each week by weekly however you get paid or however you want to do it so that when the time comes that the bill is due the money is already available say you don't have to worry with it now some examples of categories that people may have for a sinking fund would be of course car registration it could be their car insurance it could be their self-employment taxes it could be something for christmas car maintenance anything eating out maybe some medical expense that you would like to get in the future maybe it could be lasers eye laser surgery or laser eye surgery or just whatever it may be. You may want to get some cosmetic surgery done. Whatever it may be, a sinking fund could be set up for that. A family vacation to Disney World or land, just depending on a wedding, saving for a down payment for home. It could be anything that you want, something that does not happen monthly that you want to save up for over time. Once again, that helps you with your budget so that hopefully you don't have to use utilize a credit card or utilize some of the money that from your paycheck to pay for something that you knew was coming all along. So hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it wasn't too fast. Once again, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And there will be more videos coming of the cash stuffing and other budget related items also. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Wanda with Wanda Budgets and Cash Stuffing. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.